Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to Not Timmy 66. How the heck's everybody doing today? I'm uh, got a little back issue going on, man. But we're still gonna go out and get it. We need some money. Tell you guys some news about what I applied for yesterday and what I have planned and what's going on. But in the meantime, let's get out here. It's uh, about quarter to ten. We're gonna see if we can pick up some breakfast orders and do some Uber and maybe some DoorDash. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, guys, this is an example of people not giving you good instructions. This is a huge apartment complex. Let me show you. And so I'm still on that first order, and all she gave me was her at well the address of the apartments and a, number 409. So I guess the main thing is is that knowing from just having doing that done enough delivery work that I'm gonna look for building number four and see if I can find 409. We're building three. Apartments can be kind of a pain in the butt, and you guys all know that. All right, so here's building four right here. Uh, 401 to 412. So we're gonna park it here, and these apartments have numbers on the outside. So we're gonna give this a shot. I'll be right back. Actually, I'm gonna take you guys with me. Here we go, here we go. Are you excited? I know I am. Alright, so it's number 409 we're looking for. Four three. Four oh one. Every time I do apartments, I end up walking the wrong way. Every time. I don't know, you guys that do delivery work, have you ever done that? Where you're just like, go up the wrong set of stairs, 406, 404, I think we're right here. Let's see. Bro, wait. Okay, it's gonna be around the back, I think. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. It's good to get out and get some exercise, though. And it's probably going to be upstairs. Let's see what we got. 412. 411. 409. Right here. Here we go, guys. And that is that building 409 first delivery in the book all right guys and again that one took me just a little bit out of my area that i like to be in i guess i'm just weird in particular about that sort of thing but not too bad man not too bad at all 588 for four miles it was uh you know pretty easy so i'm kind of heading back to my spot right now and we'll be back all right guys on my second run of the day now this is a starbucks order seven dollars 89 cents to go three and a half miles not too shabby you guys know how uh, sometimes i tell you they send notes and stuff like this i guess this person ordered it for their daughter i'm going to some uh, savannah loya I, I don't know in some business or something like that uh, at home store, I guess it is, um, in North Richland Hills, which isn't far away at all. And the order says, This order is for Savannah Loya. Please meet at register. Hand to cashier. I would greatly appreciate it. It's for my daughter. She needs a pick me up. Thanks a million. Thanks a million. Thanks a million. Wow. 
so nice. Yeah, so I guess I let my little secret out of the bag. I don't like to keep secrets really anyway, but I have a back issue, and that's why originally, guys, when I was doing the uh, postal stuff, um, hanging that bag with the 40 pounds, even though 40 pounds isn't that heavy when I was at CCA, uh, and getting in and out of that vehicle, every now and then it flares up and it makes it pretty dang difficult for me to do any kind of delivery work. Um, and I don't know what it is. It's like I bend wrong or if I twist wrong, something like that. A long time ago, I used to be a, uh, let me show you the road instead of my face. I used to be a uh, utility lineman. I used to climb the power poles and stuff like that. And I suffered an injury. I fell, oh, probably about 30 feet off a pole and uh, ended up on my back in a snow drift and pulled some muscles and stuff. And ever since then, I've always had like a little weak point in my back. And I guess as I'm getting older, um, you know, it's starting to affect me more. And I don't know if it's just the bending or the twisting or whatever it is, but it kind of hurts sometimes. So I was trying to, and I can stand and lift and do stuff all day long. It's just the actual act of getting in and out of a vehicle. Sometimes it irritates it. So anyway, that's enough bitching. But that's what the problem is. That's why I went to switch to MHA from CCA to begin with, man. Yeah. So now you know. We are 1.2 miles away from my second delivery. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get this one delivered. Then I'm going to go ahead and head back to my area. Because as you can maybe see, I don't know. You guys don't know my area that well. But... Um, the uh, thing's kind of taking me into the mid-cities, and uh, even though it might be a little bit better over here, as far as that goes, some of these areas can be kind of sketchy, so we are going to head over here, and I'll pick you guys back up in a little bit. Hi guys. I'm on about my fourth or fifth order of the day. I just did a $16 plus a $5 add-on run. So it's looking pretty good today so far, man. With tips coming in and everything, I'm at about 30 bucks. I did go ahead and stream for a little while, but this area, man, for some reason, it keeps kicking me out of the stream. So I'm back to shooting a little video for y'all. But yeah, it's been a pretty decent day so far, man. Pretty decent. Lots of interstate today. I mean, not really far, but just hopping on and off the interstate a lot. It's kind of crazy. Sorry, I better shut that off before I get a copyright strike. Do not want that. Do not want that at all. That is not a good thing. But guys, I'm super excited. I'm actually making some money today. This is the way it used to be, man. Back-to-back -back orders. Um, I should be well above 30 here in a little while. I'll be, of course, I can't give you a full total until I'm completely done. But I've been getting some, uh, you know, four or five miles for $16 orders, things like that. Really, really good orders, man. Um, pretty excited, pretty pumped about that. And also, your day goes by a lot faster when you're making money, right? Right. So we're going to turn up here on Holiday Lane. It's 1.4 miles away. I am enthused. Enthusiastically enthused. Yeah. I think I'll take you guys with me on this delivery so you can see where I'm uh, going to be dropping this off at. It's a leave it door. The notes say, leave it, leave it door. Do not knock or ring bell. And then she put, shh, after that. I'm like, whatever. People are crazy, man. I get it. All you got to do is say, don't ring my doorbell. Don't knock on my damn door. I got dogs, or I got a kid to sleep, or something like that. You have to go, shh, on top of that. But, I guess for added effect, it is uh, good to put the shh in there. Just had another one come in that I accepted after this delivery for $8.90 to go three miles. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is a good day. So we're going to go up here and get this one delivered. And go get 
at our next one. 49.30. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Yeah, on the left hand side over here, let me show you. On the left hand side of the road. 49.30. There it is, right there, 49.30. And they back the blue, man. They back the blue. All right, so let me turn you guys, if I can. No, I can't. That's all right. Hang on. All right, here we go, guys. At 49, 30, we're going to drop this off. Come with me. Some free bird burritos. Okay. It's delivered. Alright, so let's take a photo on that one, but I'm skipping it. And I'm just going to say left at door. Or I'm going to actually say at door. Now, as soon as I hit delivered, it's going to take me to this next one. I just accept it. So it's routing me to Alvarado's Mexican food. Yeah. Good day today so far. All right guys, so here is an opportunity for me to show you guys how some of these customers can be on Uber. I went to pick up this run that I'm on now that I'm about ready to deliver. She actually works at another restaurant. And since deliver it in the drive-through, I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get up there. That's not the point. Here's the point. She said, can you please ask them to throw in some ch ch chips, cream, and extra sauce, uh, uh, salsa verde for my delay? And I happened to see, I mean, I had the phone with me and I went in to pick up the order. So I asked them, I'm like, hey, the customer just texted me and asked me to throw, if you guys would throw these items in, right? And they came back and said, well, that will cost extra. Well, I... I'm not going to buy it for the customer, right? So I had to come back to the customer and say, they said they could do it. However, they said they were going to charge you extra for that. So I didn't pick it up. So you're going to have to kind of contact the restaurant and work that out, right? And, and that's exactly what I'm talking about sometimes with these orders. You get people that are kind of picky and maybe the restaurant, I didn't delay. I was there to pick it up when I was supposed to. So it's not on me. But it's on, it's definitely on the restaurant. And the restaurant's like, well, look, we ain't going to give you any free food, right? It's going to cost you more. Sorry for the delay, but that's the way it is. Business decision, I guess. But that's just an example of some of the crap you run into on this. It doesn't happen all the time. But when it does, it can get kind of hairy. And, and now you think, hmm, that's probably going to affect my tip as well. If it does, it does. But, you know, there's certain things that you just haven't have any control over. The restaurant was delayed in their order then you know it's not really on me so yeah there's that but anyway i'm gonna pull up here this is a restaurant called burger street and i'm gonna have to pull up here and try to figure it out if there's nobody in the drive-thru i'm just gonna go straight into the drive-thru and let them know if there is i'll figure it out from there i guess we'll see all right and we're coming up you see burger street over here to the right coming up on it now so I don't see anybody in the drive-thru. So let's see what happens here, guys. Let's just see what there is to see. They have great burgers here, by the way. My wife and I get these every now and then. Kind of expensive, but they're worth it. All right, so let's see. Let me uh, grab the food out of the back. I just have to hand it through the window. I usually put the food in the back seat. Thanks. She knew I was coming. It's Lexi.
try to run over the dang curb. All right, here we go for Lexi. Hi, Lexi. Sorry, I asked them about it, and they were like, they were like, we're gonna have to charge extra, and I'm like, I'll let her know. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> have a great day, okay? You Thank you. Alright guys, that is how it's delivered. Alright guys, not too bad for a little bit of work. I was out uh, almost 2 o'clock, well it's what, 126 right now, and uh, there you go. There you go. So overall guys, not too bad of a day, man, not too bad of a day. I'm going to head home, I'm going to go ahead and get this edited, cut it, because uh, it's a little bit lengthy, I let it run in places, so I'm going to have to edit it down a little bit so you guys aren't, you know, 150,000% bored with all my videos. But I want to thank everybody for coming along today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Keep a uh, watch out for the uh, unboxing of my... Um, external microphone adapter and also the uh, footage I'm going to do on how I'm going to plan on installing it that's coming real real soon we're going to be continue on doing this um, I did apply for several different delivery positions yesterday with Amazon and some of the contractors um, I'm here starting to hear back from them now they're having me take these little questionnaire tests and stuff like that so something's going to break loose pretty soon with that um, I checked the emails for uh, United States Post Office and I haven't heard anything back yet, but I just applied, what was it, like yesterday, so it takes a few days for them to, you know, get me into the system and all that good stuff. But anyway, I want to thank everybody that's been watching my channel so far. I appreciate everybody. I know we picked up a few more subscribers, I think we're up to like... Last time I checked, it was like 344 subscribers, and that's freaking awesome, guys. You guys rock, man. Come along for the journey, man. Make sure you hit the bell to not get notifications when uh, I do post new videos. Um, and that's really all I got for today. I did uh, live stream on Twitch. I left them up. You guys can watch them if you'd like to. Um, it kept cutting out on me. Um, I don't think I don't know if the Twitch thing's going to work real well. Um, it's it's good in certain areas and bad and bad in other areas. And I had some people that were watching it already tell me that um, it gets pixelated real easily and stuff so if it's not good quality I'm not going to continue to do it I want to do quality stuff for you guys but anyway that's all I got for today guys I'm going to post this up and like I said I'll get the other videos up uh, ASAP we'll continue doing delivery work stick with me more excitement to come as always I plan on doing a Grapevine Lakes uh, tour on the motorcycle once I get my microphone up and everything, so come along for that as well. And just stay tuned for more fun and excitement with Not Timmy 66 Guys, no matter what you do in life, no matter what you do in life, make it count. Not Timmy 66 I'm out.